Hello and welcome to CIA. My name is Mank and in this video I am going to show you how you can create double opt-in campaigns. Uh, okay, so there are actually pos uh, multiple possibilities um, how you can create double opt-in. But I am going to take an easy approach so that uh, any new uh, new user with Motic can uh, do it. Right? So what is double opt-in campaign? Um, see, when you place your uh, form uh, somewhere on your website or your landing page right and uh, you you are taking uh, someone's email and uh, you want to ensure that the person who submitted the email is actually interested and is the one who actually submitted this form otherwise you know it does not make sense to uh, take the email of the user and uh, then keep spamming uh, this guy ultimately what he is going to do is he uh, is going to um, you know uh, unsubscribe or even report your uh, portal or your landing page so uh, it's always better to go with a double opt-in so in this process what we need is uh, we are going to create a segment uh, right so I'm gonna create a new segment I will call this pending contacts right so nothing else just pending contacts I'm going to save this segment uh, next thing what we need is um, I'm going to create a landing page where we are going to place the form. So um, let's create a landing page for visitor. Okay, so uh, we don't really need this one. Um, everything else is good. Let's go to builder. Right here, actually, we need to place a form uh, on this landing page. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to save this page for now, uh, empty. Next, I'm going to go and create our form, right? So in this one, uh, I'm actually going to use a standalone form, right? So in this one, let's call it our um, email description. Okay, so let's go and create a field. I'm going to just create an email field. Call it email. So let me say result yes. Uh, validation I'm going to put it yes. Contact field is already associated with the email. So I'm going to add it. Uh, right submit button is already there. Um, so um, that's it. That's actually uh, all we need for this. Uh, so let's just uh, add simple you know text uh, description area. newsletter okay so in the properties let's say uh, I'm gonna say um, so don't spam you get only what you signed up for okay I'm just gonna put it here so um, I'm just gonna leave it like that uh, let's choose a theme um, I'm gonna use oxygen and close right so the form is ready uh, if you want you can uh, preview this form how it looks so as you can see so it, it looks like that um, I'm just gonna place this field above right so that's it say okay so uh, this is the form ID 5 okay I'm going back to our landing page um, yeah so or maybe let's call it uh, you know uh, I'm just gonna go to a builder and um, so I'm just gonna remove everything from here. So basically, go in sections. Okay, and then we need to place the form. So what we're gonna do? Insert token and here email subscription form. So I'm gonna place the form here. Apply. Close window. Save and close. 
Okay, uh, so now the page is ready. As you can see, uh, we have our page and uh, our form is coming here. So next step, uh, I'm going to go back to the form. Right, so uh, what is already done, we have a landing page where we have put the form. Uh, we have a segment where we are going to put our uh, contacts which have not yet been verified. So what is the next step? Uh, when the contact is submitting a form, we need to send an email with the link to this landing page. Right. So what we are going to do is we are going to create an email. Okay. So I am just going to create a new email. Um, let's call it uh, template email. I will use this simple. Um, okay. So that's it. Um, internal name let's say. Newsletter double opt-in. Now uh, moving to the builder, I will just uh, leave everything, uh, remove some of the parts. Right, but what we actually need is just a button where we can uh, put the link to our landing page. Right, uh, so as you can see, this is a call to action, and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this, and here I will. Um, place a button right and uh, let's see the landing page so um, so thank you for your interest so i'm gonna use this one okay so let me check so the page link is one so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna here uh, place the button link yes Link is equal to one button text confirm your subscription. Okay, uh, that's it. Apply, close, save, and close. Right, so uh, if you go and preview, this is taking us to the thank you page. If I uh, you know just go back, so I think uh, I just left the link there in the text. I will go back and remove this. So back again, save and close. Okay, so uh, the email is ready. Um, what we have left is just a campaign, right? So uh, what we are going to do is um, let's go to the campaign and uh, create a new campaign. Call it confirm admin updates. Right, so published. Um, I'm gonna choose the segment. In this segment, I'm going to choose pending contact. Okay, add. We're going to put a decision here. If the contact has visited the page, thank you. Right, so I'm just going to add it. If this contact visited this page, then what we will do is we're going to change the segment. Modify contact segment and we are just going to remove it from pending contact segment. So anything which is a part of pending contact, you just don't send email to them. And anything which is out of it, we can simply, uh, you know, um, put keep put it, uh, take them out of the pending segment, and that's it. So apply, close builder, save and close. Okay. So now the campaign is active. Now let's go back to our form and uh, what we are going to do is in the forms, um, email subscription form, I'm going to edit it. Now we need to add some actions in the form. So what action do we need to take? Uh, first of all, we need to put this contact to segment, which is what? Pending contacts, right? So add, we need to send an email to the contact, right? If you don't send email to the contact, how they are going to click on the link and how they are going to uh, confirm. So now what we need to do is uh, choose the email. So newsletter double opt-in email, that's what we are going to send, right? So these are the two steps which are uh, which should take place. So I'm going to save and close. That's it. That's all of it uh, that you need to do. 
right so now let's uh, go on and uh, test it out so what i'm gonna do is i will go to the landing page that we just created email your status updates right so i'm just going to copy this i will go to a private window paste it here right so email i'm gonna do okay so here submit it it has been submitted so now we should receive an email so i'm going to check my email right so in the promotions i have got uh, one uh, email as you can see uh, so this is for confirm your subscription right so i'm opening this in the main window but uh, what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this link from here and going to go back in uh, my private window and here i'm just going to open this right so i have opened it right this has taken me to the thank you uh, for your interest right so what i did now i submitted the form i got the email to confirm my email address and then i clicked on the link so this has taken me here so now let's go back to the motic and check uh, what happened there right so uh, let me go to the context and check the history of this contact so i'm going to this so let's see i submitted the form email subscription form then the email was sent contact was added to pending opt-ins right uh, uh, contact added to campaign because it was added to the segment then email was read this email was read by me then i visited the page as you can see the page is it uh, it is recorded then campaign action trigger which one modify contact segment and contact was removed from campaign as well as from pending contact segment right and then uh, this uh, thank you page i visited which is here and this is how uh, the complete uh, opt in process was followed so i hope you were able to understand and uh, i hope i tried to make it easy you know to make it really easy what you should ideally do is uh, every form has its own purpose right so when the purpose is completed and when you are modifying this contact segment so what you can do is change uh, remove this from, uh, contact from the pending opt in and put this uh, contact into the actual segment where it should be placed uh, after the submitting the form so we are just adding a detour for uh, this contact in order to verify the email address other than that it is completely normal process right so this is how it goes um i hope you were able to understand if you uh, have any questions or queries about this uh, do let me know in the comments uh, thanks for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe